The Cyclades lie to the southeast of Athens. This group of islands is so called because they stretch in the form of a circle right in the middle of the Aegean Sea. The Cyclades look like the pieces of a puzzle around an island whose name has gone around the world, Mykonos. These 16th century mills haven't worked for a very long time, but the island still has the same power to attract. The village of Kora, lying alongside the sea, did not think it needed to defend itself against pirates for the simple reason that it maintained very good relations with them. The sea was for a long time the only resource in an unforgiving land. It wasn't until the 18th century that Mykonos found prosperity by exploiting other resources. Today, its aura has given it an enviable position. Mykonos is perfectly adapted to the environment. The buildings are designed to resist strong sun and violent winds. And the tiny streets are laid out like a maze to confuse possible aggressors. Today, however, there is a warm welcome for visitors. No more paint. Boat comes with paint. The layout of the area is very functional. You get to the first floor of the houses up an outside staircase. In the district of Aleph Khandra, there are a number of houses that have direct access to the sea. In the past, wheat used to be brought here for the mills. It has been nicknamed Little Venice. Further inland, you can understand why the island remained almost deserted till the 16th century. The climate is very dry. There are no permanent watercourses, and the relief is not high enough to bring heavy rain. After the springtime, the earth is soon burnt dry. There are wells that go down to the water table and ensure a supply of water. The monastery of Paniaga Trolliani was founded in the 16th century, close to a spring. After being pillaged and destroyed, it was rebuilt two centuries later. It's true that the monastic establishment with its elegant sculpted marble bell tower must have attracted unwanted attention. Well sheltered from the wind, the beaches of the south enjoy an international reputation. Paradise Beach fosters the ongoing myth of Mykonos. Sasa from uh, Mykonos, the king of Mykonos. This is the best island in the world. Everybody come in this beach because this beach is uh, free. Everybody enjoy, everybody happy, everybody love life. On Mykonos, the show is non-stop, whatever the hour. The main thing is to be in the right place at the right time. And when the sun goes down, you need to be in the front row to admire and to have fun. <laughs> when night falls, the temperature eases off. The shops reopen as the stars come out.
this is the time to choose a work of art. And later in the evening, the temperature rises again. Well, you're 